hello everyone and welcome to a new ik video this is ken from 73 and in this video guys we're gonna talk about rift breaker i know we have uh amplify i believe for this week and but we're gonna talk about the venom that we had in the previous week i i always screw up in the last two days i don't know why what's happened here but i i believe i rank it first in the highest damage for the first three days of the event or the first two days and then I rank it second in the overall damage for the first three days. And then in the last day, I lost both ranks and I ended up, I believe, third in the highest damage. Uh, unfortunately, we lost the previous week's rankings. And I believe I rank it fourth in the overall damage. But the report that I want to talk about is the report where I got the highest damage, which is the 316 million. This is the immortals that I used. I used Goply, Alex, Sign, Yuke, and Zeno. As for the skills, I used Kuplai as a defensive and offensive immortal at the main time, at the same time, enabling the other immortals to deal more damage by using Adrenaline and Rush to make sure that Total Conquest is active all the time. As for Alex, I used Anger, Wind Rage, Compu, classic skills for Alex. I used Demonic Contract and Energy Burst. Energy Burst is so important though for Sign Duke to make sure that her skill is active all the time. However, if you have her exclusive artifacts, that means that her skill will last for 9 seconds instead of 6. And then you can replace Energy Burst for a skill such as Sniper if you have it. Sniper will be so much better than Energy Burst, but I don't have Sniper currently. So I'm trying to work with what I have right now. As for Zeno, I used healing skills such as Vitality Touch, Wine and Dine to increase the damage for the Immortals that are being healed. And I used Spring of Life. If you don't have Spring of Life, you can use a skill such as Shelter. And I already talked about it about about this in one of my uh, previous videos. Anyway, right now we're about to attack the Amplify boss, and this is the build that we're going to use. We're going to use Hippolyta, Kupulai, Yushition, and we're using Sign Duke as well. These are the skills. This is my first time ever using Compu on an Immortal such as Kupulai. I always use it on Alex and uh, maybe sometimes Hanny but this is my first time ever using it but I'm using a, uh, an attack speed artifact for uh, Kupli so maybe it will do some damage let's see how this is gonna be like there's Kupli we're gonna use You should see on. We need the uh, Hippolyte. What is Hippolyte? There it is. Alright, looks uh, fine. We got the highest uh, damage, very nice. 242 million damage. This is actually not bad. And combo, wow. <laughs> okay. So combo wasn't a bad idea after all. Combo did 34 million damage. It could have been more if I had an immortal such as Matilda or a skill such as uh, Sniper. It could have did way better. But anyway, this is still a decent amount of damage. Not sure how am I going to last in the in the highest rank here. Ah, this is even uh, one million above uh Kuviero here and i believe that this is not the perfect scenario to use you should see on as because i already talked about his skill it deals more damage if the target has less than 50 percent troops so maybe if i waited a bit more i could have dealt more damage for the spider if i waited that until the spider or the rift breaker drops uh below 50 percent health anyway this is everything I wanted to talk about in this video, guys. Here is the build uh, one more time if you would like to take screenshots. And as for the skills that you don't have, you can replace this with uh, a skill such as Dual Master, since it increases your physical attack as well. As for the other skill, I believe you don't need to change anything regarding the other skill. If you don't have Vitality Touch, I believe support will be a better replacement. This is it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and have a wonderful day.